The bunting is out for a new service which will connect rural communities, rail links and top tourist destinations in North Devon. The 309 and 310 bus service begins this weekend on a route from Barnstable to Linton. Additional funding is being provided to enable the service to connect Barnstable's bus and railway station. Until now, bus passengers have had to change to another service or face a 20-minute walk to travel between the two. The new route will be subsidised by Devon County Council and the Cabinet Member for Climate Change, Environment and Transport was thrilled to be in the driver's seat for the official launch at the Linton and Linmouth Cliff Railway. It's always good to be in Linton and Linmouth but this is a fantastic achievement by the Devon County Council transport team that we now have a link all the way from out here into Barnstable to catch the train at the railway station. Just how did it come about? Well, I'm very fortunate that I have a fantastic team back at County Hall and they managed to pull a rabbit out of the hat and find some funding to be able to put in the transport link that's really important for local residents, businesses and indeed the many, many visitors that we get here in Linton and Linmouth. How important is it to improve our public transport links in rural areas of Devon? Well, rural mobility is something that the Peninsula Transport Board are looking at at the moment. We're about to publish our new strategy. And that's all part of getting Devon to net zero in the future. But with the cost of living crisis, this sort of transport link is going to be important so people have a choice of mode, which is affordable, and many, many people can apply for a concessionary bus pass, which then makes it free to get in and out of Barnstable, and indeed now with the rail link further afield. Who is this service aimed at? It's aimed at our local residents, our businesses who are relying on getting um, their employees to and from work and the, the thousands of visitors that we get into Linton and Lymouth. And we do have a bit of a parking problem in the height of the season so we're hoping people will use this more sustainable form of transport. And after COVID-19 when the numbers of bus users plummeted, it's hoped new services like this one will make a real difference in getting people to keep their cars at home. It's really exciting, it's really good to be doing something really positive after a difficult couple of years with the pandemic and getting people back on public transport. Just how has the pandemic been for public transport? Um, it was really difficult right at the start, passenger numbers were down to about 10% but people are starting to get back out on the bus now and we're up to about 70 or 80% in many areas and we want to get lots more people out and about. What would you say to encourage people to maybe ditch their car and get on the bus? I think it's about making sure we have a reliable service and that we've got people that can go out and enjoy themselves. You get a better view, you don't have to worry about parking when you get there and it is, um, it's, it's a really um, attractive sort of sociable event. It's really friendly, particularly in North Devon, travelling about. Everybody knows the driver's names and it's one big community. What now for the future to encourage more people to use public transport? We um, recently were successful through the government's national bus strategy for funding which we're currently looking at and we've put a bid in to government to uh, improve services and make buses a higher priority. And with getting the train and bus made easier, Great Western Railway hope people will be enjoying a more sustainable summer holiday this year. It's a real treat for Great Western to be able to um, sell the idea of going to Linton and Linmouth uh, on the rail network and then buy a bus that's actually timed to uh, connect with it. Um, and uh, the, the work that Devon County Council have done to fund the service um, and obviously we, we've done work to um, provide marketing and information uh, on the buses and, and to potential rail passengers as well so uh, it's uh, you know it's, why wouldn't you want to come here so it's a real so it's a real pleasure for us to be able to bring the two a bit closer together. What would you say to encourage people who are coming down on holiday to ditch the car and maybe take the train and the buses? Well, there's no need to bring your car. The bus leaves Barnstable Station 10 minutes after the train arrives from Exeter, and Exeter is really well served by trains from all across uh, the country. Um, the fares are really cheap. We caught the bus over this morning. It was only just uh, just over five pounds return. So, um, I, it, it, you know, it was so st stress-free and uh, really picturesque journey as well, uh, going across Exmoor from Barnstable. So, nice and relaxing. Filers operates the service Monday to Saturday with a limited service on Sundays and bank holidays until October the 30th. So why not take the stresses of getting stuck on the motorway or getting behind a tractor on the little lanes for hours on end by swapping the car for public transport for a perfect summer vacation in Devon. Lewis Clark, Devon Live, Linton.